The first and most exciting piece of news about the Xiaomi Mi 11 is that we're gonna be having three models. First is gonna be the Mi 11 Pro. That's gonna be the all out, balls to the wall, best camera, best overall features device. It's also going to be the most expensive. Then we're gonna have a middle of the line Xiaomi Mi 11, very similar to how the Mi 10 normal was very much the middle of the line budget yet still flagship model. And then finally, we're going to have a Mi 11 mini. And it's not exactly sure yet if the Mi 11 mini is going to be a cheaper, more budget offering that compromises on things like camera, charging speed and performance, or if the Mi 11 is going to be a full-fledged flagship shrunk down. Today, we're talking about rumors of the Xiaomi Mi 11, some of the specs that we can kind of confirm on the device, and overall kind of feelings and takeaways that we have right now towards the middle of December 2020. Now, it's already confirmed that the Xiaomi Mi 11 is going to be, or will probably be, the very first device shipped with the new Snapdragon 888 processor. Xiaomi wants to grab the headlines as being a top tier manufacturer, by delivering the newest technology before everyone else. To go along with the Snapdragon 888 processor, Xiaomi is gonna be pairing this with UFS 3.1, as well as LP DDR5 RAM and storage, which are top of the class. Now the Mi 11 Pro is gonna be using the all new 50 megapixel imaging sensor. It's going to be of similar size to what we have already in the 108 megapixel camera uh, on the Xiaomi Mi 10, but with the lower megapixel count, we're gonna get a better signal to noise ratio, which means that we're gonna have things like enhanced sensor readout speed, along with better low light and high ISO performance. Those are things that just inherently come with larger overall pixel sites. Along with that, the Mi 11 Pro has been confirmed to be shipping with some type of periscope camera that's gonna be of the 12 megapixel variety. Now, the periscope camera is probably something that we only see in the Mi 11 Pro, not in the regular Mi 11 or the Mi 11 Mini. We know that all of these devices are gonna be shipping with ultra wide cameras, as that's something that Apple has done on their devices recently, and Xiaomi loves to copy Apple's approach. So a standard camera, standard camera, standard camera and ultra wide camera are gonna be available on all three of these models. On the screen front, we're seeing all four sides of the Xiaomi Mi 10 Pro to have curved or beveled edges. It's something that I personally hate and it's probably a reason it will not be my next phone as I do not like the curve. It makes screen protectors a pain to install and a pain to kind of keep on. It makes them harder to protect in cases and it doesn't add a lot in the way of functionality. Now this four dimensional screen is gonna be available on the Mi 10 as well as the Mi 10 Pro. Same way we have the same exact curved screen on the Mi 10 and Mi 10 Pro, whether or not the Mi 10 Mini is gonna get the same level of fit and finish and the same type of four dimensional curved screen is left to be seen. Another spec that's confirmed for the Mi 10 Pro and possibly for the Mi 10 is gonna be a 120 Hertz QHD display. Now, whether or not Xiaomi is gonna let you run this QHD display at 120 Hertz and full resolution, or if they're gonna take an approach similar to Samsung and only limiting you to either the higher pixel density or the faster refresh rate. Now it looks like the Mi 10 as well as the Mi 10 Pro are gonna utilize a split battery design as we've already confirmed at least one or two different power cells that are manufactured for this device being in the 23 to 2400 milliamp hour range. This is to allow for the Qualcomm Quick Charge 5 charging standard, which uses power delivery and then splits those two uh, battery packs in two and then splits that incoming current so you can use higher amperage and essentially get much faster charging speed. Now, one downside to this charging technology, unlike the way Oppo and BBK brands do it with splitting it at the charger, is that it generates more heat on the SOC. With the way BBK does it, you have to use proprietary cables that have a split power uh, throughput and that power split is done at the brick. If you do not have one of their proprietary VOOC, uh, Quick Charge, uh, OnePlus, all their different BBK brand charging cables, then you're not able to use that technology as it does require the proprietary cable. On the other hand, the way Qualcomm's done it has made it universally compatible with all power delivery uh, power systems. And where this comes into play with the Mi 10 and the Mi 10 Pro along with the Mi 10 Mini is whether or not Xiaomi is going to be adding their own proprietary 120 watt 
thing on top of that. There was a lot of controversy prior to the Mi 10 Ultra only actually utilizing 80 watts of charging speed and Xiaomi kind of falsely advertising the 120 watt charging brick just as a marketing ploy. So whatever Xiaomi does this time around is gonna be very interesting as it's unlikely for them to take a step backwards and advertise charging speed. Now on the front of charging, the Xiaomi Mi 10 Ultra had a 50 watt wireless charging capacity. The Mi 10 has a 30 watt wireless charging capacity. So we're probably going to see another 50 watt or high wattage wireless charging sim uh, system implemented on the Xiaomi devices. The upside of this is that all of these devices are compatible with the regular Qi quick charge standard, which currently caps out at 15 watts. If you wanna take advantage of that higher charging speed, you have to use one of Xiaomi's proprietary quick charge pads along with a wall outlet that supports that higher wattage. Still no word yet about stereo speakers on the device, although it's unlikely for Xiaomi to step backwards and giving us a feature like stereo speakers as they did on the Mi 10, I absolutely love the stereo speakers on my Mi 10 and for them to give us only a mono speaker. Now it's really interesting to see where Xiaomi's overall placement of this device is as they are trying to move slightly more up market with this device and thus implementing newer technology and kind of more premium features to justify that higher price tag. We have some other rumors on the Redmi K40 Pro and if you guys want me to do a video about that, let me know in the description down below. Click this video over here if you want to see a review of the Xiaomi Mi Outdoor Speaker. Don't know what I was doing there. Uh, check, if you want to check out another video right here, and until next time, peace.